First Peter 5, 8 in the New King James Version says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And in that verse, it says the devil prowls or walks around like a roaring lion. And as we see later in scripture, Jesus is described and is named as the Lion of Judah. And Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen that Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. He disguises himself as love. So it's easy to deceive who he's attacking. Because a lot of people get this depiction of Satan that he's this big, angry, red monster that comes in horns and a pitchfork. But he's actually able to trick us and deceive us very easy. And yes, Satan tries to prowl around like a lion, like in the form of a lion, quite literally in a scary way with his intentions to destroy. But he doesn't come in the appearance of a lion. He comes in the appearance of love and of light. And sometimes Satan will even try to deceive you into thinking that his voice is God's voice. And his targets are usually the new and feeble in the faith or those who are in a dark season. That's why I mentioned in my last video in Hebrews 10, 25, to not forsake the assembly and the gathering of each other because it's so important for us to stay in community and to get grounded and planted in a church so we're not off on our own, all alone, for Satan to come attack us, for us to be an easy target for the enemy. So that's why I encourage you today, don't give the enemy a shot. Stay in church, stay planted somewhere. Church is tomorrow. Go, get, go, go visit a church somewhere. And, do you need to do uh what's that verse colossians 3 3 hide yourself in the blood of jesus be hidden in christ so satan can't find you hope this encourages you today god bless